if you are engaging your mind with the faith, with that faith becoming your mind becoming that faith, and that faith is becoming part of your mind, because all this I told you yesterday, there are like fifty two different mental faculties, and all are oneness with the mind and the separation there. Separation there. That the faith, when it's engaged the mind, your mind becomes faith. Uh, however, there are separation of the faith uh, functioning mind and the hatred functioning mind. You can separate them. The faith functioning does not become the hatred functioning. The hatred functioning does not become faith functioning. But both are part of your mind. Both are, are, are and your mind becomes both of it. And so the struggle is this, which one? The positives going to occupy mind more or negatives going to occupy mind more? And when you say tame your mind, when you say mind is addicted, mind is addicted with the, with the act, hatred, obsession, attachment, etc. So without efforts, mind go there. Effortless, because you are turned, you feel comfortable, go there. But when you engage in, in the positive uh, minds, like non-virtuous, oh sorry, non-violence, or, or, or faith, or, or and to know how to be shameful, to know how to have developed hesitation, or patience, or enthusiasm, or something like that. So that is the struggle. So the mind is your control. Your mind is totally your control because even you look, you can direct. Even you look, observe yourself, you can direct. So tame your mind here is let not the mind go in the negative way, let mind try to keep it in positive way, constantly, continuously, as much as you can. So what happens thereafter, if your mind kept in positive way, uh, you know the thoughts are the part of mind. Whatever we see, you know, some people will tell you, Watch your mind, whatever is popping up, peel it off. I mean, that's what it is, right? Many people tell you. What is popping up is your thoughts. That is a part of your mind. Thoughts are part of your mind. I will say here, all 52 mental faculties are part of the mind. So that's what I mean. Oneness, yet there's separation. So that is really uh, maybe a little more you need to think about it. Uh, but knowing this will make what difference to you. And knowing that will make a little bit inside your mind what you're talking about it. And, uh, and, uh, and at the present level, whatever mind you have, if you look in the positive subject, like a poor noble truth, whatever your understanding of like a first noble truth, and a second noble truth, and third noble truth, and a fourth noble truth, and you may have as an information, you may have as a knowledge, you may have some kind of a deeper movement of it, but whatever may be, and that very, very part of that mind is the mind who will become a total knowledge. 
uh, Buddhist point of view, that will become Buddha because it accepts everything and it takes in is the becoming of it. And then is the total knowledge is totally built up. And that's how it is. Um, and uh, so that's why training mind uh, almost the becoming like a spiritual practice is that that's what it is. And that uh, defined your own future, positive way or negative way, because what mental faculty you are engaging more. So I haven't talked to you the mental faculties uh, at all, except there's a 10, uh, 10 uh, non or the 11 virtuous and non-virtuous. Uh, non-virtuous. And besides that, I didn't talk to you. There are certain things or certain mental faculties make you, uh, make the mind sustain. Uh, there are certain mental faculties always accompany mind and make the mind work. And these are important. These are important but that is not really a spiritual contemplative. But again, to know the mind is all of those has to bring in the picture, all the picture. And because what mind being, mind made a focus on certain things, certain mental faculty will work and connect mind and object or subject, whatever you're focusing. Then becoming is natural of that mind. Improving that becomes more you are presented better, it becomes better automatically. And that's why how People can develop, people can learn more, people become educated, and that is how people become qualified. And all of those, because mind is the basis on which all maintaining. But then, mind also goes. When it goes, they will leave all of them there. Because you know why? Mind becomes subtle. These are big, nice mind, kidding all that. And when the mind have to go, and as it becomes subtle, and extremely subtle, who cannot make a define any, forget about right or wrong, virtue or non-virtue, it becomes such a subtle, neutral mind. Such a subtle, noodle mind are referred in the, this tradition as a Nyuma Henji Kebe Sem. Nyuma Henji Kebe Sem. It is simultaneous grown, a mind that is simultaneously grown with you of a primordial connection. So I do not accept primordial. However, 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 primordial connection, the idea will be, question will be, if you don't accept primordial, how is being connected, right? So whether you accept or not, whether you think it's there or not, because the mind perceives, and every perception is not necessarily right. There is a wrong perception becomes right for temporarily, but ultimately it can be proved as a wrong. So then the mind will reject. Mind have its own mind. You can, you can direct, you can push it, 
you have to really sell it and you have to make sure your mind buys. So anyway, that very subtle mind, extremely subtle, no physical, no mental even, very, very subtle, not even the vibration, nothing, much subtler than gone beyond, gone beyond uh, any, any physical marking identity. Uh, I don't know or whether it's a sort of a quantum physics says disappear, appear. Whether that is right or wrong, I don't know. But it is a completely gone, extremely subtle level, no way of tracing, tracing any physical, even mental way of tracing. And that turns it. Those of us who accept past and the present and the future life, that accepts. And that troubles. And when that get into the from the past, when you get into that present, and that is the a natural uh, of a mind in is naturally there. When I will, when I use a natural of a mind, then the and the Buddhist uh, since it's a Tibetan Buddhism, a uh, Buddhist theory have different way of understanding natural of a mind. Very different way. Many very different way of understanding. So, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the reality of it. And that very thing becomes more gross, more gross, more gross, more gross, and then the recognizable as a mind, perceiving, projecting, uh, thoughts, entertaining uh, things, and that's becoming that way. So that's why, and that is, uh, becomes our own reality. When we're making ourselves engage mostly in the positive, virtuous way, then is the beginning to open the wonderful things in our life and the lives. When it is a totally left continuation with that negative uh, feeling and a negative attitude, negative, let it go with the anger or short-tempered or showing a temper tantrum, and then it's continuously becoming live after live, and uh, it becomes an uh, angry person. And the consequences of anger is ugliness. Even you're born as a human being, you'll be born as an ugly human, ugly looking, crooked, like, uh, like a a henchman of Notre Dame, <laughs> some of that type of ugliness. And uh, face, physical, character, individual, all becomes ugliness because of the anger. So therefore, therefore, it is all in our own hands right now whether you want the mind to be entertaining the anger, along with the hatred, along with the obsession, along with the jealousy, along with the inferior, superior complex, and then you make yourself like henchman of Notre Dame, physically in this life as well as in the future life. But on the other hand, since mind is manageable, as we see, mind become 
what it look at it. So mind should be entertained, focused in the positiveness, kindness, compassion, a love. It will be enjoyable for yourself. It will be enjoyable for those who are with you. And you become a fun. You become beautiful. You become a wonderful. And your future lives will be likewise. So it is in your own hand whether you're going to tame your mind or you're going to let your mind continuously run by addiction. So you have to tame. Where and how you tame is the two previous words. Avoid the negativities and the build the positives. So engaging that is beginning of taming your mind. Good luck, everybody. Thank you.